so today I'm going to be trying the new Makeup by Mario products. <clears throat> I have the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector and the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. Um, I got them both in the shade Light Medium. I went ahead and did my eye makeup. Um, and then we'll do the face together. That way you can see how it does on certain kinds of face products. I'm going to start with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. This is super thick. I have been super interested in the Makeup by Mario line recently. And everything I've tried so far has been pretty good. There's nothing that I haven't liked. I cut my finger last night. You can see it <coughs> behind me. I uh, have been wanting to try to make homemade pickles. I've seen them all over TikTok. Um, and I cut my finger when I was cutting the cucumbers last night because my kids were being crazy. But I am very excited to try the pickles. This is super thick, like super thick. <clears throat> I feel like I need to let it sit for just a minute. Do on their own. They are super easy to blend. They blend. It's the easiest to blend cream concealer that I've ever, not concealer, um, cream bronzer that I've ever used. So this is what the skin enhancer looks like. I really like it so far. Super easy to apply. I think it looks really nice. I was between getting the lightest color or light medium. They have six different colors available. Um, I went with light medium and I think I'm happy with that. So it says it's a three-in-one tinted complexion balm that warms and nourishes with sheer coverage to even out the appearance of skin tone. The coverage is light, the finish is radiant, um, it's a cream formula. Um, some of the highlighted ingredients are vitamins A, D, and E antioxidants, and then omega-6 fatty acids. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. Here's what the pan looks like after my first use. Like it's definitely a cream. But it also feels super light. It's not thick. It's a really thin formula. And this is the Skin Perfector. There is a um, bronzer, more contour shade, um, a shimmery highlighter, and up here is supposed to be a um, setting powder. It says this is a 3-in-1 powder to perfect, illuminate, and set makeup for a radiant glow with an airbrush skin effect with an airbrush effect on the skin. Light coverage, radiant finish, and it's a pressed powder. This one's definitely more powdery. Um, you can see I got them in the same shade. And this one down here, it's a lot lighter. It's a little more orangey too. But since it is used to perfect, illuminate, and set makeup, I'm gonna do the rest of my face makeup before I try that one, I think. I'm gonna use the Milani um, Tea Rose Rose Powder Blush. And for a highlighter, I'm gonna use Stole the show. It's one of the ColourPop Super Shot Cheek. I'm gonna try it with a brush. I'll probably end up using my fingers. 
but yeah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Just tapping it into the skin. I think this is such a unique formula. Like it feels, it's so. I'm sure you, they're everywhere. I'm sure you've tried them, but the feel of it just, I don't know. Like <laughs> I can't get over it. Like it, it's creamy, but like it's always cool. I don't know. I just think it's super. I like the feel of it. It's super cool. I can't decide if I want to do a nude or a brown eyeliner. This is the ABH Norvina Chroma Stick in Apricot. Okay, so let's go back to the Skin Perfector. I'm going, just because I don't know how it's going to be on, on the skin. I know it says you can set it everywhere. Um, he said that you can use it in by individual product. Since there are three in the pan or swirl it around. Um, when he said he swirled it around, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with where I put the um, skin enhancer. Yeah, skin enhancer. I can tell it's got a little more coverage, color payoff. I feel like it looks patchy on camera. I'm not seeing that in real life. I don't feel like that helped either. Um, I'm gonna take a smaller brush and just go into that setting powder at the very top. I'm gonna try to set my under eyes with it. I'm gonna do the middle of my forehead and right around my mouth. Hmm. I don't feel like it's blended very well. I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup. Maybe that will help me feel better about it. And for lipstick today, I think I'm gonna use the NARS. What shade is this? Audacious Lipstick in Barbara. So this is the finished look. I'll show you what it looks like in outdoor lighting. Hopefully though, I don't want to jinx myself. Um, hopefully in about a month or so, we will be moving. There's been some progress. Um, we had an offer accepted on a house um, th this past week. The inspection is scheduled for this week and makes me a little bit nervous, but progress. Um, for eyeshadow today, I'll link it down below. I used the ColourPop She's Super Shock in Bubbly and the Rose Quartz palette by Huda Beauty. I used the shades Gratitude, Precious, and Radiance. Okay, so I will check back in in a little while. So this is how my makeup looks. It's been about four hours. Try to focus on the I feel like it hasn't stayed very well and for the first I want to say two hours I had my makeup on it never like sat or dried down and I don't know I, I was I couldn't touch my face or anything because it was just like creamy and I felt like if I touched it it was gonna mess up it felt very thick you but it hasn't worn very well maybe if I try it with a different face primer something not so like rich and emollient um, other than that I mean wish my makeup looks fine that wasn't really the stuff in question that's been about four hours I'm gonna have to keep playing with it because I've really loved I believe the enhancer, the first step, um, that's just got one shade. 
of it in it. Um, I really liked the, how that applied. It was so easy to blend. The second step is the one that I kind of, it might take a little longer for me to love. I'm gonna play with them by themselves and together again, but I mean, they're okay, I guess. I just don't feel like their staying power is that great. If you try them, or if you have tried them, let me know what you think. Or if you have a different application um, process that you like. So that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, if you have the same, maybe this, or maybe if you have the same skin type, or just the same makeup preferences, definitely subscribe. Um, I have a few ideas for my next videos, and that's it for now.